Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 17th, 2023, from Revelation chapter 14, The Lamb and the Saints, Part 2. Previously, we heard in chapter 14 about the Lamb of God, who is Jesus, along with the saints, that is 144,000. You got to remember the saints are those who have the name of God being put upon them through holy baptism. Next, we heard more about these saints as they were singing, that is singing a new song. Some were also playing a harp. And there was also a voice that sounded like water, a beautiful reminder of our baptism because through holy baptism, we put on Christ and Christ's name is put on our foreheads. So let's continue with this description of this, these saints from Revelation chapter 14, verse four. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is these who follow the lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the lamb. And in their mouth, no lie was found for they are blameless. After hearing this description, it sounds like the saints are perfect. That is, they haven't done anything wrong. Well, consider there's only one perfect human being. That is God who took on human flesh and blood. Jesus, who was born of Mary and dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. But as far as the rest of us, we realize we are not perfect. We are sinners. But we are perfect. How? Because through holy baptism, we receive the forgiveness of sins that Jesus brings to us. So as we receive that forgiveness, God the Father doesn't see the sins anymore. And now he declares we are perfect. So as we look at the death of Jesus, we realize that yes, our sins have been atoned for, which means they have been paid for, they are taken away. So again, from God's point of view, we are perfect. So those who believe and trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, even though we're still sinners in this world, we are perfect through the eyes of God, all because of what Christ has done for us. And that's why Paul says, for those who've been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. But notice what the vision states, that the saints have also been redeemed as first fruits for God. So what does this first fruits redemption mean? Well, the first fruits would be the first fruits of the harvest, which would typically be the best, the perfect ones, you could say and they were dedicated to God. So let's put this into connection with us as Christians. Again, Jesus dies on the cross, forgiving us our sins, and now we are made holy by the blood of the Lamb of God, and we are God's children, so that you could say we could be given to God. Previously, before the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we receive that beautiful gift of faith, before we receive that beautiful gift of faith, however, we belong to Satan. So in this picture, being called first fruit and to be given to God is a beautiful, glorious event. It is much better than spending the rest of our eternity with our previous owner, so to speak, Satan. You see, through Jesus Christ, we are declared blameless, that is holy, without sin, because he takes away our sin. Needless to say, this needs to continue to be the message of the church. We hear how it's the message of the church being sung in heaven, but we need to sing this message here on earth. And it's a message we dare not forget, nor ever run away from, because it is the song that connects us with our Savior, Jesus the Christ. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to 
Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.